Good afternoon, everybody from Angel's Haven. I'm going to talk to you for a minute, and I hope you can see me. Hi. So today we're going to solve the problem, I hope, of nobody wanting to sit on my bed. So I put a post on uh, the Tiny House Concepts Facebook group, and I show them a picture of my bed and I ask for ideas about how to make it look more like a day bed and less like a sleeping bed. And one of the things they suggested was to get a box and put it at the end of the bed where I have the cloth cubes now that hold my extra sheets and my exercise equipment. So I went to a thrift store, no, 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 I went to a thrift store, but where I got the box was a garage sale today, and it's actually a beautiful cedar chest, which I'll show you, and she had it marked $150, which I couldn't afford, so she sold it to me for $50, and the exciting thing was, when I got there, she said, you're the tiny house lady. And I said, do you know me? And she said, yes, I've toured your house twice. Once at Camp Tiny House, the one we had in April, and once some other random time. Uh, that was really cool. And then I talked to her for a while. She's an artist. She's moving back to Boston, selling everything she owns. So I bought this cedar chest from her, and I'm going to show you in a minute and then I'm going to video my rearranging everything to put all the extra sheets and the uh, exercise equipment in this box. And then I will also put my sleeping pillow in the box during the day when I think I might have company over so that the day bed looks more like a day bed and less like a sleeping bed. So I'm going to turn the camera around now and show you how I work. So there it is. That is the cedar chest. It's actually quite lovely. And you can see where the cubes are now. The bed's kind of messy now because I tore up all the covers and moved aside the decorative pillows so that I could work on it. But I'm going to put this camera where I hope you'll be able to see. I might have to move one or two angels to get you a bird's eye view of the work. You know my house is called Angel's Haven. So there you go. And occasionally you will see me move things. I'm going to let the video run while I move things around. So the um, garage sale to which I went was in Rio Vista, which is the little town right over the bridge. And um, it's about, it might be six or seven miles away. Uh, the loop on which I live, I'm moving on my exercise equipment. I'm sorry if I start to huff and puff, I'm picking up weights. There goes one on the floor. Anyway, the bridge, um, that it's called the Rio Vista Bridge, and it has a part missing. It is a drawbridge over the Sacramento River. And the Sacramento River is a thoroughfare for a lot of shipping trade. And those ships are basically getting stuck in Stockton because uh, the part that's missing is the part that makes the bridge. Um, I might have this wrong, but as I understand it, when the ship comes along, the bridge is supposed to get a signal from some electronic part and tell the drawbridge to turn on the flashing lights and warn everyone that the bridge is about to go up. 
and go up. And the bridge goes up and the road traffic waits while the shipping traffic comes. And uh, at the same time, the bridge goes up. And so I don't, I know that the bridge has been getting stuck up. And I don't know if it's the automatic up and down part that's broken or if it's something about the signaling mechanism. But in any event, it is broken and the part will take a month to get in or two months or something. And my neighbor Paul told me that the ships that get stuck in Stockton have to pay $35,000 a day to dock in Stockton. And that's a heck of a lot of money. Okay, there might be a loud thud. I wonder if I should move these curtains. Do you like watching me work? I hope it's actually videotaping. This is one of those videos that Dr. Carr's mysterious spouse is going to think is very funny. But they are in Italy right now. Dr. Carr and her mysterious spouse are in Italy and they won't see it until they get back. I'm sure. Okay. A word to the wise. When you are disabled, doing stuff like this can be really hard, and you probably should have help. And I just want you to know that I did not carry this box in here. Now, if this box turns out to be too wide, I am going to be heartbroken. But I don't think it is going to be. I think it will be... A question of moving the covers. And the uh, futon might have to be inched down a little more. Oh, no, it's going to fit. I know it is. Yep. There you go. Very, very groovy. So there you have it. I don't know if it'll scoot down. I'd rather have it scoot down. So, there you have it. The box fits. Can you see it? The box fits. So... I am going to finish reorganizing everything, and when I get everything done, I will take a still picture of the whole thing and post it in a comment. So, thank you for spending a moment of my tiny life with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.